According to a letter written by the Balochistan National Party Mengi Group's chief to PMLN Supreme Nawaz Sharif, the appointment of BAP Senator Anwarul Haq Kakar as the caretaker Prime Minister by the outgoing coalition government has widened the distance between allied parties PMLN and BNP Mengal. In his letter, Sardar Akhtar Mengal expressed reservations over the coalition government's decision to choose Kakar without naming him as the interim premier without consultations with allied parties. He also mentioned legislating for in the dark and expressed disappointment in the party's actions, stating that he had hoped for greater empathy after past experiences. Yesterday, after weeks of deliberations, Kakar was named the caretaker prime minister after Prime Minister Shabash Sharif and opposition leader Raja Riaz reached a consensus over his surprise nomination. According to ISPR, two terrorists were killed by security forces after they attacked a military convoy in Balochistan's Gwadar on early Sunday morning. The ISPR said in a statement, the ISPR said that the terrorists carried out the attack at 10 a.m. using small arms and hand grenades. The statement said that the military expressed its resolve to thwart efforts of the enemies of peace and prosperity in the country. Israel ruled out a diplomatic base in Jerusalem to the new Saudi envoy to the Palestinians, whose appointment comes as Washington tries to forge formal Israeli relations with Riyadh. On Saturday, Saudi ambassador to Jordan, Nayef al sudairi expanded his credentials to include non-resident envoy to the Palestinians. A social media post by his embassy in Amman said, Council General in Jerusalem was now among al sudairis duties. That appeared to correspond with the Palestinians' long-standing and so far fruitless goal of founding a state in territories occupied by Israel in a 1967 war, with East Jerusalem as capital. Israel deemed Jerusalem its own capital, a status recognized by the United States under then-President Donald Trump in 2017, but not by the other world powers. Israeli authorities bar Palestinian diplomatic activity in the city. Saudi Arabia has championed the Palestinian cause and shunned official ties with Israel, but the US is seeking to promote what could be a historic Middle East deal that would include normalizing Israeli-Saudi relations. China vowed resolute and forceful measures over a weekend trip by Taiwan Vice President William Lai to the United States. Beijing said it was closely monitoring Lai, the frontrunner in Taiwan's presidential elections next year, who is now officially making only transit stops in the United States en route to and from Paraguay, where he will attend the inauguration of President-elect Santiago Peña. Taiwan is claimed by China, which has vowed to take the island democracy one day by force if necessary and ramped up political and military pressure.